Hey everyone, so I literally just got back from shopping and I've tried to film this video a thousand times but I keep on having like word vomit and like saying too much, um, <laughs> over describing the clothes. But I went to Nordstrom's Rack and spent all my gift cards and my birthday and Christmas money, um, and got some new clothes and I thought I'd share it with you. Um, if you don't know what Nordstrom's Rack is, it's just a discount Nordstrom store so it's like the outlet and they have really good deals come through. It still is more expensive than like... I don't know, than a place like Forever 21 or H&M or something like that, but you're getting designer clothes at like a really good discount, so yeah, it's a good deal in my opinion. So, the first thing I'm going to talk about are these jeans I bought, and I love Paige jeans, and my Paige jeans that I have had for six years, which seems ridiculous, but I've had a different pair of them, I've just bought the same style three times, but I had them for six years, and each time I bought them, they lasted for like two years and then ripped which is what just happened to the ones that I owned by Paige. But anyway, I went in to see if they had those, but they didn't have them anymore. So I was like, I guess I'm not going to be wearing those jeans anymore. But um, I got a different pair, and it's really different for me. But I just love the way Paige's fit that I decided to take a risk. But they're just um, medium, like, you know, like dark wash skinny jeans, and then the pockets look like this, which is, I guess, not that big of a risk, but... It's got a zipper up the side of the pocket, and then the front pockets are, like, angled zippers. They're cute. I like the way they fit a lot. That's what I love about Paige jeans. Like, I mean, I think even on her labels, wherever her actual label is on these jeans, it says, like, made to fit every single woman and, like, made to make every single woman feel good. So they're not, like, cut just for, like, slender girls because I am curvy. Like, I'm not fat. I wear a smaller size but I am curvy I guess is what you'd say so sometimes jeans just kind of fit me awkwardly like I'll pick up a smaller size that fits like one part of me but then it doesn't fit the other part of me which I think is a problem when a lot of people buy jeans um and I just don't like to go get them tailored or anything I'd rather just buy jeans and have them fit and that's a great thing about pages they always do so um these are originally about $200 and I bought them for 80 and so that's a really good deal. It's about 50% off. It's amazing. And then on Russian Jack, when they have sales, it's like amazing because then I'll be like 50% off of that. And I didn't go when there's a sale, but when there are sales, it's amazing. <laughs> um, the next thing I got is from this brand called Willow and Clay. And I have, if you've been to Nordstrom's Rack, you know that they have, obviously they have tons of racks out of clothes. And um, it's either se separated by designer or by like type of thing and for the designer racks I like hate going through them because there's only gonna be like one thing on there that I like typically I like going to the racks that have like the type of clothes because if it says like this is a rack of lace shirts I know I love lace detailing then I'm gonna like go over there and be like oh I love like 50% of the things on this rack I love everything on this rack but this was the first time I've been to a designer rack where I literally wanted everything on it and I picked up and tried on every single shirt that was on the rack and I only ended up buying one because they're, they're, they weren't really expensive, but they were, I don't know, they were really delicate and it would, they all had to be like dry cleaned and hand washed and they had to be lined a certain way when they were drying and it just seemed like a lot of work. So I only ended up buying one um, and I kind of regret not getting more, but now that I know about this brand, I'll for sure check it out. But anyway, I should probably show you the shirt. Um, it's just this like knitted, like knitted uh t-shirt it's really cute and the back is see-through but my favorite thing about this is just like the the color of it is taupe it reminds me of metro chic by sephora by opi the nail polish color and it's just like if you want a close-up on how it looks and these things are just like pieces of thread so i'd wear a cami underneath but i love it so much it looks really cute on and when i first saw it on the rack this is the Actually, the last one to draw my attention, I was like, ugh, like, ew, that's one shirt I don't like. And then I picked it up, and I was like, I like the color. And then I was like, I like the knit. And then I started liking everything about it. And I tried it on, and I was like, oh, my God, this is the best shirt ever. So I love this, and I love this brand. And I'm definitely, like, the second I stop filming, going to check out their website. Um, the next thing I got is, is from a brand called... Living Doll, which I've never heard of, but I guess they are sold at Nordstrom's and Nordstrom's Rack. 
but it was originally $34 and I got it for $16.97 and it's just a white with cream knitted detailing like loosely fitting t-shirt and it come it bunches at the end it's really flattering on I really liked it it made me look tight and I think it's adorable um next thing I guess I'll go for something boring my favorite brand of cami like camisole cami like tank top cami um is called sleeve I'm trying to see what this is made out of it's made out of cotton and spandex and no matter what size you get it's gonna fit you like I can this is an extra small and it fits me it just changes like length and I've seen this fit, like this fit way bigger girls than me and I've seen this fit way smaller girls than me like the same way the only thing that will change is the length and they fit like a glove it's like tight to your bones like so like not baggy at all it's so flattering fitting as you can see this extra small looks pretty actually doesn't even look that small on camera holding it up in front of me like this looks like a baby's shirt except it's just really long so it fits me up to the top of my hip bone and that's how far I want it to fit me for but if I've gone in there and gotten larges or extra larges and it's still really tight but I can wear them as like spandex like under dresses for like see-through dresses or something like that so I really like these um they're amazing so I got a new one a black one because my other black one that was that small or that short I should say kind of ripped so I picked up an extra one of those and then I got these really cool spandex pants and they are originally $60 and they're at Nordstrom's Rack for $20 which I still want to bought them for but then they were 40% off so they were $12 so I got them and they're really just like plain everyday spandex then you flip them around and the back has zippers all the way up the middle of the leg and it just has a zipper. It's really cute. I love it. And I can wear this with like a longer shirt that covers the butt of it and then just, and flats. So you can see the little zipper and it's going to look really cute. I'm excited about that. Um, the next thing I bought, <laughs> I'm still kind of pondering why I bought it in such a large size. But it's supposed to be a loosely fitted sweater and it's from Calvin Klein and it was originally... $70 and I got it for $37. Um, so it's supposed to be a really loosely fitted shirt or sweater. So I, I tried on the small and the medium and they both fit me. The medium is probably what most people would have picked because um, it's baggy. It, actually, the small even looked good. I don't know. But I ended up trying on the large and it was like so long that it almost could have been a dress on me. So I could wear this with spandex and boots. And that's why I bought it so big, but when I hold it up, you guys are going to be like, wow, that's huge. Because it is, like, like, huge. Like, I feel like three pregnant women could fit into this. It's really big. I'm going to stand up. As you can see, I went for a lot of gray colors, but it's just really, really big. And it's really long, but I love it. It's got great knitted detailing. Um, the sleeves are really cute too. I love it so much. So last, I saved the best for last or my favorite thing for last. Um, if you guys watched my What's in My Bag video, which you guys all should, but um, I showed a really big bag that was stuffed with stuff. And the reason it was so stuffed was that I only take out big bags when I'm sleeping over somewhere, when I have to bring a lot of stuff. Like, let's say I'm going over to my friend's house and we're going to get ready together. So I have to bring, like, all of my, not all of my makeup, but a ton of my makeup because I don't know what I'm going to end up doing with my face. And I might do her makeup and, I don't know, I overpack. But I have so much stuff in there. And then I always have, like, a smaller, like, across-the-shoulder purse. So I bought a new one. And it's from Juicy Tour And it's purple. And I love it. And the straps are just canvas straps that can be adjusted shorter or longer and it's just really cute it's this nice purpley color it's showing up a lot darker than it actually is yeah it's still showing up darker than it actually is but it's really cute and the inside looks like let's see can I get any lighting to show you the inside no probably not but the inside has like four pockets in it um and it's adorable and I love it. And it was originally a hundred and what was it originally? A hundred and fifty eight and I got it for eighty four. So it was definitely a big purchase. It was more expensive than the jeans, but 
I just love it so much and it's leather and it's gonna last a really long time and this is officially my new favorite purse of all time and I love it so anyway I like how I just throw it and I love it but so anyway that was my haul um, I hope you guys enjoyed comment rate subscribe and I'm about to film another haul but not of a fashion relatedness not fashion related at all um, I've been doing book videos as well so this is kind of like a makeup and book channel but which is so weird but I really love talking about reading. So anyway, I'm about to film that, so you guys should check that out. And comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye.